Hello everyone, I'm here today. You might have already seen the title. It says how do you use LGS, like a run, like how do you run LGS on the M1 chip Mac. I, I want two things to be clear here. First, you should check the description so you can see if there's any update on this. Like, did uh, Logitech update anything? Or did anyone make an uh, updated version of this? in the description so you don't miss anything new so second of all i don't want to be seen as a clickbait and a waste of time so i want to be honest there's still a bug within this application so i mean you can run the application and you might be able to run it so still give it a shot but to be honest uh there's a bug within this application and i'm going to submit this bug to logitech and the bug is the software doesn't detect your device. That's the problem, man. I'm not sure if you will see this as a clickbait, but I'm going to post this video anyway because, well, you should still give it a shot. So there's two parts of this video. I've already got uh, Logitech gaming software installed on your uh, computer. Then you don't need the first uh, half. You can just go to the timestamp in the description and you will well work through this faster so if you need to download uh, logitech gaming software then you should go to their website and download it and after that you extract it i'm not sure if you need to but i think you need and after that you get this installer which cannot be run on the m1 chip uh computer and what you need to do is instead of running this, you should right click and show package content. Here it is, sorry. So if you right click it and this should, should show up. What you need to do is go to contents, go to Mac OS and run this executable file. So just run it. So here you can see I have iTerm opened and this is why I see so there's iTerm open and that's my terminal yours might be the default like terminal but mine is different because i prefer that one uh i term it's pretty good you should check it out but i mean it's your choice and after that just follow the normal like installation steps and it should ask you to like allow some system extension which you can allow in like system uh, preferences and go to uh, safety and privacy I believe and go to general tab and you should allow the software and then you should restart your machine after that you should be good to go but I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed and this gaming software inst installer will be useless from here now on because now you should see your uh, software installed so you can see here Logitech and here's Logitech gaming software. If you open it up, it will say it cannot be run. So what you need to do is do the same thing. Go to show package content. And to be honest, this can work on a lot of like situations. So if your app just doesn't run, you should like try to like do the step content and go to Mac OS and see whatever files here and try to run it. So in this case, there's multiple files. This is the application itself, but let's not run it yet because what I want to do is drag and create a shortcut here. Probably rename it to like LGS and drag it back into your application folder. It can be easily, well, I already got one. So this way it can be easily found in the future. So what you need to do is just like run it. I know it's annoying to have this like, so it should run like now. So apparently what should happen is uh, your terminal should open up and your gaming software should also open up. I know there's a problem. Once you close this terminal stuff, the application will shut down. I know it's annoying, but I mean, at least you got the software up and that's how you run it and now you should test it if your your thingy does work so how you test it is you 
unplug and plug your device back in which I'm not going to do because right now I'm recording and let's see here so there should be like if you unplug and plug back in you should see there's a there's a there's a there will be like a warning stuff popping up and that indicates that the software is having a problem detecting your device or controlling your device and that means your device cannot be used right now which if it does in the future that's why i say you should check out the uh, update in the description if you have that problem please do me a flavor please just like copy the whole stuff until like the exit stuff and copy and paste to a forum or something like that on logitech and i've been like reporting this bug for a while and they don't just just don't respond to me so if you can just do that and they might be working they might work on it like this is a pretty good software i mean it's like it got a bad ui but i mean the software is usable and i want it to be back if you find this video helpful there's a link in the description and it's a reddit post it's an original one by me again but i mean you should go and go ahead and upvote it so uh it helps more people anyway this is how you can get your lgs app to be run to be running or if any app doesn't run you should try to do that and to see if it works i'm gonna just close this application here so that's how you can get your lgs running on your m1 chip computer and any a application like the first you should do before like you go ahead and, un and uninstall the application and give it give it up and i mean that's all i can do to help you so i'm gonna end the video here thanks and if you find me i mean my content are boring so you might not want to subscribe, but I mean, if you do, then just subscribe and check out my other content. Bye.